Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So recently you would have heard in the news that a very strong company called as Polycap, which results were good, profits, revenues, all are very very strong. Growth rate has been very good. It corrected in a single day by 21 percent, right? I am not an investor in Polycap. I have not invested even one rupee in Polycap. But you will think that very strong company. Why did it fall by 21 percent? You will do a little bit of research and then you will find out that you know what? Its IT rate was high, right? The IT department rated Polycap and it figured out a lot of black money transactions, so to say. कि वो टैक्स चोरी कर रहे थे इसलिए पकड़े गए राइट एंड एज अ रिजल्ट द स्टॉक करेक्टेड क्वाइट अ लॉट ओके देन सेकंड पीस ऑफ न्यूज इज लिटरली फ्रॉम टुडे आई एम शूटिंग दिस वीडियो एज ऑफ फ्राइडे एंड टुडे व्हाट इज हैपेंड इज दैट इन्फोसिस स्टॉक एज आई एम सीइंग राइट नाउ इट इज अप बाय सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट ओके एंड दी फनी पार्ट इज दैट दी रिजल्ट हैव नॉट बीन ग्रेट देर इज बीन शिंकेज इन प्रॉफिट राइट सो इट हैज नॉट बीन ग्रेट बट वाई सब स्टॉक दौड़ लगा रहा है राइट दैट सेकेंड पीस ऑफ न्यूज थर्ड पीस ऑफ न्यूज इज रिगार्डिंग मेक माई ट्रिप आपने रिसेंटली देखा होगा कि यू नो वॉट मॉलडीज मत जाओ राइट गो ओनली टू लक्षद्वीप वगैरह वगैरह नेशनलिज्म सेंटिमेंट्स आर बिंग बीटन अप एंड द कंपनी इट सेल्फ हैज टैक्ड एज भारत की ट्रैवल ऐप दे हैव लिटरली टैक्ड अलॉन्ग ऑन दी नेशनलिस्टिक सेंटिमेंट्स एंड स्टॉक दौड़ लगाता जा रहा है नाउ आई एम नॉट सेइंग दिस टू क्रिटिसाइज एनी कंपनीज पर से दिस वीडियो इज गियर टुवर्ड्स इन्वेस्टर्स बिकॉज एज एमेचर इन्वेस्टर्स एंड अभी बहुत सारे एमेचर इन्वेस्टर्स कूद पड़े होंगे मार्केट में कि आज स्टॉक मार्केट दौड़ लगा रहा है आई विल ऑल्सो पुट माई मनी सो इफ यू आर पुट Putting your money based on news, you are going to get wiped out one day. I am telling you. And on today's video, I am going to help you understand the fundamentals. That's part A of many of these stocks that are in the news. Extremely important video from that perspective. Second key point I am going to help you understand is the concept of risk in the market. It's very very important, critical to mitigate your risk right now. I have been one of those people who have been extremely bullish about the markets in general over the last 2 to 3 years I have put in crazy amount of my own money in the markets bahut acha profit bana I am very very thankful to god I am very very thankful to the entire community and people who have been following me will vouch for that so I am rarely in the bearish camp but looking at the situation right now ki IPO launch pe launch hote chale ja rahe hain right weird news is coming out falana dinga company is just running massive pr you need to understand all these critical news items so let me take you through this extremely important concept you will not find this in any book this is something that you will learn by losing your money or through practical experiences so do press the like button it would allow these type of fundamental videos reach out to more people so okay shuru karte hain and sabse pehle point number 1 we will understand is the polycap story i will explain it in very brief so that you get the entire perspective what is actually happening and how do you separate news from the fundamentals of the stock which is a critical skill that you will need to develop as an investor so sabse pehle मैं आपको अपना ट्वीट दिखा देता हूं सो दिस वाज फीचर्ड ऑन आर नेशनल डेली इट वाज फीचर्ड ऑन बिजनेस टुडे एंड इसमें हेडलाइन है दैट इफ यू आर डाइवर्सिफाइड इन इंडिया यू आर अ फूल फिनफ्लुएंसर वांस व्हिच इन्फ्लुएंसर अक्षय श्रीवास्तव फिनफ्लुएंसर सो आई वांट दैट पीपल शुड डाइवर्सिफाई एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव बीन सेइंग ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन नॉट जस्ट नाउ बट फॉर इयर्स कि भाई इंडिया में एफिशिएंट मार्केट हाइपोथेसिस डज नॉट प्ले आउट इंडिया में देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूज बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग इन्वेस्टिंग सो यू कॉन्ट ट्रीट द मार्केट कि भाई बाय एंड फॉरगेट कर लेंगे ये कर लेंगे कि दस साल के लिए खरीद के भूल जाए टाइप्स प्लीज डो नॉट डू दैट यू विल लूज मनी ऑन गुड कंपनीज ऑल्सो सो ओके सो वेरी क्विकली लेट मी जम्प ऑन टू दी फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द स्टॉक एंड वॉट यू विल सी एस कि यार आप ना ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी से स्टोरी देखो फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिफोर दी कोविड सिचुएशन हैपन सो दिस वॉज अ टाइम कि फेब्रवरी के आसपास कोविड निकल के आया था एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम द स्टॉक वॉज ट्रेडिंग एट वन थाउजेंड ओके एंड दिस वॉज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अभी राइट नाउ द स्टॉक इज ट्रेडिंग एट फोर थाउजेंड सो रफली चार सालों में फोर टाइम्स हो चुका है एंड हियर वी आर अकाउंटिंग फॉर दिस फॉल बिकॉज एट इट्स पीक पॉलिकैब वॉज ट्रेडिंग एट रफली फिफ्टी सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके सो ये छह टाइम्स ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स टाइम्स हो चुका था फाइव एंड हाफ सिक्स टाइम्स के आसपास देन इट करेक्टेड वेरी रिसेंटली वाई डिड इट करेक्ट वेरी रिसेंटली बिकॉज अगेन वो आई टी वाला इशू हो गया था कि आई टी डिपार्टमेंट ने रेड मार दी एंड देन दे रिकवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लैक मनी दिस दैट वो आप कहानी पढ़ लेना मेनी यूट्यूबर्स एक्सप्लेन इट सो आई विल नॉट वेस्ट टाइम देर ओके सो एनी वेज द पॉइंट वॉज दैट द स्टॉक ग्रू ऑलमोस्ट फाइव फाइव एंड हाफ टाइम्स एंड देन इट करेक्टेड वेरी शार्पली बाय ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड लोग अब हल्ला मचा रहे हैं कि आई यू नो वॉट कि पॉली कैप जो है ना इसमें यार बहुत मैसेव करेक्शन हो चुका है अब बीस परसेंट गिर चुका है इट हज फॉलन बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट तो अब क्या ही गिरेगा खरीद लेते हैं ओके सो सी गाइज दिस इज नॉट अ स्टॉक बाइंग सेलिंग recommendation type of a thing i am just helping you analyze the stock better so chaliye let's analyze the context of the price in context to the growth in business okay so up 2020 ke aas pass dekh lo that the sales were roughly 9000 and then now it is grown by how much it has grown by almost 100% ki sales double ho chuki hai right and what about profits profits have also roughly doubled okay 
So sales have doubled, profits are doubled, but the stock price, how much has it gone up by? Well, it went up by almost six times, almost six times. And even after correction, right now also, it is almost at 4x times, okay? So yes, it's a good company that revenue sales both badiya hai. But look at it in conjunction with the price. That does the price rise justifies the increase in revenues, increase in profits. That is a call that you will need to make. So, log jo halla macha rahe, you know what, 20% correct ho chuka hai, ab kya hi correct hoga? Bhai, it can correct quite a lot. That if the market starts believing that if there are major corporate governance issues, then the stock can correct quite a lot, right? And aap ye P ratio se bhi dekh sakte ho, ki abhi aari aapni median P pe bhi nahi pahuncha hai. The median P of the stock is around 35. Right now, it is at 36. Abhi ye 54, 55 ki P pe tha. History mein, it has never traded at 55, 54 P, right? So, of course, it was bound to do correct, so to say. One could make an argument. And ab is tarikhe ye reason nikal you know, IT rate See, I'm not trying to justify that IT rate hoti wali cheez and companies should not be clean. But think about it practically. Ki bhai business jo hote hai, right? Do you think that this black money thing is only an issue with polygab? Honestly, right? So it's not like that. So to cut the long story short, see, to me, it looks like a valuation correction. And when valuation correction hoti hai, ki us time pe you should not jump and just start aggregating the stock like a mad person, especially when the markets are very high. So everything needs to be looked in context of the market. So let me just very quickly explain you one final point here, and then we will close Polycap and move to the second stock. See, what is happening right now in the market overall? Because if the market overall is growing, then Overvalued stocks might also go up, they might continue to rise. But if the market falls, then, you know, even good companies which are at sensible valuation, they might continue to fall. So this is a very important point that amateur investors do not understand. So anyways, coming to the topic that see here is Nifty 50 and Abhi market is at an all time high or almost at its all time high. Abhi yahan se, is there more chance of a 10% growth or 10% correction? So if you feel that there is a higher chance of 10% correction, then what should you prepare for? You should prepare for risk mitigation. You must have a certain kind of risk mitigation strategy. Wo aapko karni aani chahiye. Tomorrow, I'm going to write a community post on my YouTube member community where I'm going to help you understand what risk mitigation is, how you can fundamentally, in a very easy to understand language and execution step, apply risk mitigation concept to your portfolio. So I highly encourage you to join that YouTube member community. Fees is very, very basic. It acts as a basic filter to separate serious audience from non-serious audience audience so that you get a more enriching learning experience. Aap aapas mein, jo bhi debate discussions ho rhi hoti hai, aap usse bhi bhoat ko seek jate ho. Now, if there is no fee barrier to it, then bhai sahab, har koi aake halna macha hai ga. The fee is extremely basic. You can go through some of the reviews. You can see it here. These are actual members who have really enjoyed the conversations that are happening in the community. So definitely go and check it out. So tomorrow, I'm going to write a post on it. But the most important critical key takeaway here is that see, in a rising market, if you are holding overvalued companies, jis mein price bhoat zada Chuki hai. and you do not have a risk mitigation strategy in place that is just bad investing style bad investing strategy kisi bhi stock ke saath kuch bhi ho sakta hai polycap who knows it might give like 300 percent returns from now i don't know right so i have not seen the future but as a sensible investor do i think that polycap is undervalued right now absolutely not it is not undervalued right now and even the markets are not undervalued and in fact, I would say that markets right now are at best fairly valued, right? And I am telling you a optimistic scenario bata raho. <laughs> in a more moderate case. I think that the markets are getting overvalued at this stage and you should start exerting a little bit of caution. So this is stock one. Now stock two and a lot of people are saying that, you know what, info says, bhai sab jhande gaar diye, seven, seven and a half percent return today. Bus up to IT mein growthy growth hai, growthy growth hai, right? See, now if you do not understand the fundamentals as to why the stock price has gone up, you're just again committing a fundamental mistake by simply judging a stock based on its price movement. Just because the stock is going up does not make the stock good. And just because the stock is falling does not make the stock bad. This is a point that most people do not understand. So let me just spend maybe 30, 40 seconds explaining this point. So basically, if you go through the Infosys story, what you will see is that the step one is that the management issues guidance. Guidance ka matlab hota hai ki yaar, they will look at the business environment and say that, you know what guys, the business environment in the world right now is not very conducive to IT. So therefore, we are projecting and these statements came from the management and I'm just making up the number to help you understand that IT may growth we had forecasted seven year but looking at the revised situation in the world now ki dunia war ho rahe hai, ye ho rahe, wo rahe. so we are cutting our guidance ki growth sir 
statement hogi okay so this type of a statement came out and again i am just making up the number to help you understand the concept right so aap baki news use pad lena ki kitni exact guidance thi then isse hota hai kya hai ki analyst people who actually bet on the stock markets issue their reports to research firms ye jitne bhi mutual funds wagera hote hain they look at analyst report they have their own set of analyst so they have certain expectations right so based on this guidance and other and other business developments they set certain expectation so maan ke chalo ki yahan pe expectation analyst ki taraf se thi ki you know what infosys type of company will grow at 6% growth rate right and then finally abhi quarterly results aaye and usme is tarike ka number aa gaya again i'm just making up the numbers that instead of 6% expected growth the company grew at 8% so yahan pe kya ho gaya the expectations were beaten okay so therefore the stock rose quite sharply even tcs rose entire it index rose in fact i am not an investor in individual it company i have invested more than once year in entire it index which has been up by 25% so now how do you use this fundamental information to make a buy sell decision so let me have a very quick conversation here so yahan pe what you need to do is that you need to understand why the results have been better than expected so aapko detailed commentary milegi and i'm just picking tcs you can go and do this exercise for infosys also and yahan pe they have given like a lot of points right aap yahan pe highlights pad sakte ho ki acha revenue growth has been this 1.7% this that double digit strong growth in emerging markets led by india now this is critical information why is this critical information for example if you understand anything about it business what you would realize is ki you know bunch of business comes from outside india right especially jo europe market hota hai and us market hota hai wahan se bahut kaam dhanda milta hai jo it companies hain unhe but highest growth rate kahan se aa raha hai highest growth rate is coming from india now it is turning the entire it business is turning from an international play to a domestic play राइट नाउ अगर आगे चल के डोमेस्टिक प्ले बिकम स्ट्रॉगर कि देर इज मोर स्पेंट ऑन आई टी गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग अ बंच ऑफ स्टाफ जिसमें उनको आई टी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्रिएट करना है एंड स्ट्रेंदन करना है मेनटेन करना है देन द चांसेज आर दैट इंडियन आई टी कंपनीज आर गोइंग टू बेनिफिट वाई नॉट बिकॉज देर इज सम मैजिक हैपनिंग इंटरनेशनली बट बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट डोमेस्टिक ग्रोथ इज हैपनिंग सो द फर्स्ट फंडामेंटल पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू टेस्ट आउट इज दैट इज आई टी इंडस्ट्री ग्रोथ हैपनिंग डोमेस्टिकली दिस इज क्रिटिकल ओके सो दिस इज वन सेकेंड इज दैट फ्रॉम एन एक्सपेक्टेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अभी क्या है कि सी यू एस इज स्लोइंग डाउन यूरोप इज स्लोइंग डाउन बंच ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स आर हैपनिंग इंटरनेशनली वर्ल्ड इज ट्रेडिंग लेस हर कोई मेक इन इंडिया मेक इन अमेरिका मेक इन जापान मेक इन चाइना मेक इन कंट्री एक्स वाला कैंपेन्स चल रहे हैं एंड एवरी वन इज पंपिंग अप नेशनलिस्टिक सेंटिमेंट सो टू से सो उससे होगा क्या कि दी आई टी कंपनीज आर गोइंग टू सफर अ लॉट बिकॉज देर ब्रेड एंड बटर वॉज सेलिंग इंटरनेशनली दीज आर रिलेटेड टू इंडियन आई टी कंपनीज सो इंडियन आई टी कंपनीज फ्यूचर ग्रोथ रेट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ दे आर डोमेस्टिक बिजनेस शेप्स अप फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इज इट गोइंग टू बी पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव I feel that this is going to be positive right so this is a healthy sign is their us europe business going to shrink or not see the bad part is that nationalistic sentiments are faring up everywhere so the world is going to trade less which is not great for the global economy even un has come out with the prediction that the world growth rate is going to slow down right that is there so this is a problem area but having said this there is so much negativity that has already happened in us europe market ki is point se niche girna is not going to be that probabilistic right most likely it is going to stay sideways yeah jitna business milta tha basic basic to mil hi jayega and kal ko maan lo ki do teen saal mein situation improves for example interest rate gets cut then do you think that this is going to support it companies the short answer is a uh, yes right so therefore i have more than a cr invested in it stocks i am not selling them but more importantly you need to understand my hypothesis why i am not selling them okay and this is a fundamental hypothesis log to hum bhai sahab msd rsi laga ke acha maine bola tha ye wo bhai ab pehle bata dete polycap ka i'm seeing like a lot of influencers commenting ki yaar dekho you know what ab polycap collect ho chuka hai 21% maine aapko warning di thi ye wo bhai sahab aap bata dete jab polycap collect hone wala tha why did you not say it right us samay kisi se koi prediction hota nahi hai jab ho chuki hoti hai cheez ki acha yaar hamara ye rsi model hai right and iske hisab se hame ye indication aa rahi thi so anyways i'm going a little bit off track what i'm trying to highlight is that see don't do news driven investing in a market that is already high you have to make fundamental plays okay so this is stock number 2 and 3 which is tcs infosys entire it now let's move to stock number 3 which is completely based on news trading which is is my trip okay so main aapko fatafat kahani bata deta hu and then i will show you a very interesting case study so sabse pehle ye dekh lete hain yaar ki iski na business performance kaisi rahi hai so is my trip is here right that it used to do let's say around 2019 dekh lete hain to 20 
2019 this is pre covid era so 101 cr ka business hota tha so they have been able to 4x their business and they have been able to do almost seven times profit in the last six years so the numbers are very good no doubt about that but having said this this is a small cap company okay so small cap mein growth bahut tagdi hoti hai and also this needs to be seen in context of the price right ki ipo ka hua tha company ka the ipo happened at 13 rupees okay and abhi the price is what it is 52 rupees to almost 4x pe to ho hi chuka hai another interesting point what i'll show you is that see yahan pe the promoters are cutting their holding that's point 1 the fii's who used to have 4. 15 they have cut their holding dii's have cut their holding it's only the public that is buying more and more so yahan pe you might ask that okay should i invest in ease my trip so you need to ask two central questions right one is that hey how do you see the travel industry from this point because according to me the pivot point for travel industry was ki 2020 was a very bad phase 2021 was good phase 2022 was the best phase so to say and 2023 mein bhi ho chala and all that stuff because this was revenge travel phase right so almost every travel company airlines company hotel companies they were doing exceptionally well now 2024 say the growth rate is going to slow down okay so what is the meaning of growth rate slowing down and ye company ki galti nahi hai that is how it is right ki seasonal hote hain tourism business ki ab aapko dekhenge ab for example if you have not traveled anywhere in 2020 2021 okay do saal ka aapka gap ho gaya ab aap kya sochoge ki yaar main bada bada trip lunga aapne ghumna shuru kiya 2022 2023 mein aap thoda bore ho gaye so you will not travel at the same frequency therefore this is an industry wide problem so tourism pe bet karna at this stage i don't think it is very sensible because you are already paying massive premium so this company is likely to grow at the same rate as it was growing in the last two years abhi recently they came out with this full newspaper ad article ki hum bharat ki travel app hai this that and make my trip ke khilaf campaign shuru ho gaya i don't know if they had done it or not but it was just a revenge against make my trip and see i'm not an investor in either of these companies so i'm just analyzing it objectively for the benefit of you mujhe farak nahi padta chahe ease my trip bade chahe make my trip bane i am not an investor in either of those two businesses i like to buy businesses jahan pe sustainability rahe they are not taking just trigger points and all that stuff so i don't know how long will this entire momentum get sustained kyunki agar aap abhi dekhoge ki for example the stock was somewhere around 40 rupees now it is at 51 52 rupees so kitna ho gaya 10 by 40 so that is 25% growth in a matter of days why this 25% growth came well it came because of lakshadweep maldives issue now if you believe that this momentum can be sustained for a very long period of time makes sense but i don't think that this momentum can be sustained so therefore i would not do news based investing on these type of stocks so yahan pe khatam karte hain and let's move on to the next stock which is very much in news entire pr is being designed around it and the stock's name is vedanta bhai sahab bhar bhar ke aapko articles mil jayenge ki ye ho raha hai wo ho raha hai vedanta pe this that main aapko do teen news clipping dikhata hu aapki khud aankhein khul jayengi right so number 1 there are debt restructuring issues that are going at vedanta now what is the meaning of that in very simple language it means ki vedanta ne jo loan won le rakhe the they are unable to pay them back therefore they are going back to their debt issuers and asking them ki can we get more time or let's restructure the deal hame thoda sa time chahiye okay so this is point 1 which is happening in very simple language point number 2 is this that vedanta limited approves 200 crore political contribution अब यार आप आपका माता थनकेगा कि यार दिस कंपनी इज अनेबल टू पे इट्स ओन बॉन्ड होल्डर्स एंड दे आर डोनेटिंग मनी टू पॉलिटिकल कैंपेन्स एज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट स्ट्रैटेजी ओके सो आई डोंट नो हाउ एथिकल दिस इज और हाउ सेंसिबल दिस इज एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड दीज टू न्यूज आइटम्स आर रिलेटेड बिकॉज मैंने आपको ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत पुरानी न्यूज दिखा रहा हूँ राइट दिस न्यूज इज फ्रॉम जनवरी थर्ड दे डेट रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग वाली एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ डिसम्बर ओके सो इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ डेज राइट सो आई एम नॉट पिकिंग लाइक सम स्टेल न्यूज हेयर okay so this shows the intent of the company okay so then you go to the fundamentals so i have done an entire video and you can go and check it here but let me just quickly take you through it ki puri ki puri holding is pledged and more and more borrowing is done so this is something that you will find in the cash flow statement and balance sheet so let's go there so you'll see that you know borrowing it started to come down and now they have amped it up back up सो so, यार आपने ऐसी कंपनियों में इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए नहीं करना चाहिए इट रियली इज योर कॉल राइट अब हो सकता है यू माइट बी एबल टू टाइम अ वेरी गुड स्विंग एंड यू माइट बी एबल टू मेक मनी बट टू कट द लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट अ बिजनेस लाइक वेदांता इज अनलाइकली टू ग्रो मोर देन लाइक 
टेन इलेवन परसेंट राइट इनका बिजनेस ही दस बारह परसेंट से ग्रो नहीं करेगा ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट दे हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल विच इज हाई वाई बिकॉज दे हैव डेट रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग इशू सो द रेट एट विच दे बोरो मनी दे हैव टू पे हायर एंड हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट बिकॉज इतनी ज्यादा रिस्क है बिजनेस में सो बैंक एंड लेंडर्स आर गोइंग टू चार्ज मोर इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर दैम सो देयर फॉर देयर कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इज हाई एंड ये किससे निकल के आता है ये बिजनेस ग्रोथ प्रॉफिट ग्रोथ से निकल के आता है एंड वाई डेट आई से दैट दिस इज अ टेन इलेवन परसेंट ग्रोथ कंपनी वेल इट्स वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज यर एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे वॉट बिजनेस इज वेदांत इन टू इट इज इन टू वेरी हाई कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस लाइक माइनिंग हो गया वगैरह वगैरह एंड किस चीज की माइनिंग होती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोल अब भाई साहब आप आप मान के चलो कि यू आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग हंड्रेड टन ऑफ कोल लास्ट ईयर कि नाउ सडनली नेक्स्ट ईयर विल दी डिमांड ऑफ कोल गो अप बाय लाइक थ्री एक्स फोर एक्स कि आप एक्सट्रैक्ट करने लग गए थ्री हंड्रेड ट्रिलियंस ऑफ कोल एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दिस इज इन कमोडिटी बिजनेस देर इज नो इनोवेशन देर इज अ रीजन वाई रिलायंस मूव टू जियो वाई बिकॉज रिलायंस वॉज अगेन इन टू कमोडिटी एक्सट्रैक्शन बिजनेस विच वॉज ऑयल एंड ओवर अ टाइम इट हैज शिफ्टेड इन टू फाइनेंस ऑल दैट स्टफ विच आर हाई ग्रोथ बिजनेसेज कमोडिटीज आर लो ग्रोथ बिजनेसेज सो देयर फॉर इन अ कंपनी लाइक वेदांता यू कॉन्ट सेक यू नॉट आई जस्ट पुट माई मनी एंड आई एल्स गो टू स्लीप राइट अगर आप सिर्फ स्विंग कैप्चर करना चाहते हो दैट कैन गो इधर वे बिकॉज यू माइट बी ट्रेडिंग ऑन टेक्निकल्स 90% परसेंट ट्रेड एज एनी वेज डोंट मेक मनी समटाइम्स यू विल विन यू विल मेक अ लॉड ऑफ नॉइज इफ यू आर विनिंग टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम नाइनटी परसेंट यू विल लूज यू विल हैव टू गो बाय स्टार्ट यू विल हैव टू गो बाय वॉट दी डेटा डेल्स ओके सो दिस इज द की पॉइंट सो देन सवाल आता है कि यार फिर तो आपने ना सारे हमारे पर खच्चे उड़ा दिए राइट एंड यू आर जस्ट वेरी डीमोटिवेटिंग पर्सन दैट यू हैव डी मोटिवेटेड अस फ्रॉम बाइंग ऑल दीज डिफरेंट स्टॉक्स सो कुछ ऐसी चीज बता दो कि यार वेयर दी फंडामेंटल्स लुक ओके आई हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स लेट मी डू वन मोर एनालिसिस ऑफ वन मोर कंपनी नाउ कंसिडर फॉर एग्जाम्पल Example, Bajaj Finance. Now everyone understands that Bajaj Finance is a very clean company. It's a good company. No, it's not a special issue. Nahi hai, right? And how many times it consolidated? Kar rahi hai? It has been consolidating for at least three years now. Here, there was a price there, about seven thousand. On August 21, यहाँ पे भी उतनी प्राइस थी देर वॉज वैल्यूएशन इशूज विथ बजाज फाइनेंस कि इतनी तेजी से बढ़ा ना स्टॉक फ्रॉम रफली हियर राइट कि रफली अठारह सौ दो हजार से इट वेंट ऑल द वे टू सेवन सेवन एंड हाफ एट थाउजेंड इन अ मैटर ऑफ वन वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स सो ऑफकोर्स उसमें करेक्शन आ नहीं था एंड आ गया एंड नाउ द टाइम करेक्शन इज ओवर ऑन द स्टॉक दैट इज वॉट इट लुक्स लाइक नाउ इज बजाज फाइनेंस इज बिजनेस ग्रोइंग द शॉर्ट आंसर इज येस द बजाज फाइनेंस बिजनेस इज स्टिल ग्रोइंग वेरी मच प्री कोविड लेवल से देखोगे तो ऑलमोस्ट डबल तो हो ही चुका है वॉट अबाउट प्रॉफिट्स प्रॉफिट्स फोर टाइम्स हो चुके हैं हाउ मच एज द स्टॉक प्राइस गॉन अप बाय वेल नॉट बाय मच ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इफ यू डू टेक्निकल एनालिसिस अगेन यू विल सी दैट देर आर वेरी गुड सेलिंग टारगेट्स ऑन द स्टॉक How fundamentally will you judge it? Well, the only risk that I see with Bajaj Finance, in fact, there are multiple risks, but one major risk that I see with Bajaj Finance is, this is Geo Finance, hai, right? So now Geo Finance starts encroaching on Bajaj Finance's business. Now that is a major risk because it might take away a large chunk of its business from Bajaj Finance. अब लेकिन ऐसा होने में टाइम कितना लगेगा इट विल टेक सम टाइम राइट सो इट मेक्स सेंस एज अ सेंसेबल इन्वेस्टर टू कैप्चर दिस 20-25 परसेंट वट एवर गेन इज अबाउट टू कम ऑन द स्टॉक फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव अब कब आएगा गेन आई डोंट नो राइट आई मीन आई कैन नॉट गारंटी दिस टू यू दैट दिस विल हैपन इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ और नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स और नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व मंथ्स बट फंडामेंटली डू यू सी एनी मेजर प्रॉब्लम विद बजाज फाइनेंस लेट मी नो इन दी कॉमेंट बॉक्स सो देर आर अ बंच ऑफ स्टॉक्स लाइक बजाज फाइनेंस विच आर डिसेंट विच आर गुड कंपनीज यू कुड कंसिडर पुटिंग लिटल बिट ऑफ मनी देयर सी हाउ इट गोज रादर देन चेजिंग These trendy news type of stocks, जिसमें एक में आपका फायदा होगा दो में आपका नुकसान होगा and all that stuff, and you will just give up on investing. My goal is to create a community that invest for a long term, invest in good companies, make good money, are sensible with their investment. Do not make investing your full time job. It is just not worth it from that perspective. It should act as a wealth protector for you. So on that spirit, I teach a course also. In case you guys are interested, I will put the links in the description and comment box. You can check it. It's a crash course. So by spending two weekends, you will be able to pick up a lot of knowledge, lot of fundamentally driven knowledge about these stock markets, and you will feel much more confident in terms of your investment. Investing style. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very soon.